Number 23, light. And again, this Andrew Huberman has talked, I don't know, 100 hours about this stuff. So I'm, I'm not going to, you know, I won't be able to tell you anything new. Uh, you can learn it from him. But light viewing really, really helped me. I know this because I didn't ever consider sunlight and uh, sunlight exposure in the morning and, 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 and just getting that light, uh, that, that increase of vitamin D, that production of vitamin D that happens in your body through the UV light, the rays, that to kickstart your hormones to be able to produce testosterone and all the sex st steroids, all the sex st steroid hormones, don't worry, that's just what they're called, these, you know, testosterone and estrogen and all these hormones, they're just called steroid hormones because they, they are. It's just a class of hormones. Um, so the way that sunlight increases your vitamin D levels, which impacts all your sex steroid hormones and Man, the blood flow increases, the energy increase. Man, I'm going to tell you a secret. This is so cool. So at Digital Jungle, when I'm working, and I feel even an ounce of sleep, right? Like, like just a little bit of sleep. Guess what I do? I don't do coffee because it's been 13 weeks since I had any. I don't take a nap. I haven't taken a nap in a long ass time. I used to take a nap every day last year. Never take a nap now. I go outside in the sunlight. And uh, after th three minutes, I'm wide awake. Go back inside. After an hour, hour and a half, if I feel sleepy again, I come back outside. I, I'm not staring at the sun. I wouldn't recommend that unless the, it's just the sunrise happening. That That's okay, but I wouldn't stare at the sun. But just be out in the sun, close your eyes, you know, Wear sunscreen on your head if you you know if you're like me. Wear your sunscreen here. Wear it on your face if you if you need. But just being in the sun, that exposure to to light, having the vitamin D production kickstart in your body, that wakes you up, man. I bet you there's some spikes in testosterone happening. I know there's a paper that came out recently, uh, and they showed that UVB exposure, which is one of the types of ultraviolet light increases uh, well they said it, it can have a direct increase in testosterone levels i don't know if it was proven but there was a correlation with higher testosterone levels and increases in blood flow sexual performance um, energy and libido it was it's great great paper the paper was uh, from cell which is a you know damn good journal 